And so we sailed, as Bjarni had said, and with the wise steering of Thorfinn Karlsefni, we sailed down past Heleland and the flat slabs and the great forests of Markland and the Wunderstrand, the big long beaches of white sand, a fine landmark, and there we came to Kielness. And so, although we could not find Torvald's body, still we brought back the sealskin pouch that Torvald had taken and the fate dice with which he had lost. And we grieved for the brothers, for Torvald, who had given his life to the new world, and for Torstein, who had not lived to bring his brother home. So many had we lost. Too many are our adventures in Vinland, some say. <laughs> Each has his own story, for I do not know all. I stayed for three winters at the turf root house. I went on short voyages down farther to the south where the butternuts grew and at Stramse at the great fjord. But we came back always to Levsbedir and wintered there. And in the third year, there came to us a son, Snorri, the first child born in the new world. And we had great hopes for the colony. But the Skraelings came again and fought with us, and some we killed, but they drove us into the woods. And Freydis, Eric's sister, a uh, late sister, a fierce and proud woman, chased after them. And when none would kill the Skraelings, she whipped open her sark, and with her bare breast she slapped her sword against her breast and frightened the Skraelings away. Truly, she was a fearsome woman. <laughs> I, was, I was not so fearsome. <laughs> I, I contented myself with my spinning um, and with my son. And there I rocked him and spun soft bell to swaddle him and sang to my young lamb of the lambs far away in my home in Snithlesness. And I hoped someday that we would see it again. <laughs>